Wildfire Studios holds sort of a unique spot in Hollywood at the moment as being one of the largest and most unique independent sound facilities working on feature films. There are a lot of facilities a little smaller, uh, obviously the majors are around, but we're uh, a really unique boutique facility that concentrates on high quality feature film mixing. It's very important for us to establish not only are we up to date, but that we're actually in the forefront and that we're willing to take risks and experiment in a way that a uh, larger studio, which is more entrenched, might not. Here at Wildfire, we had just done a major upgrade to the mixing consoles as well as a number of other systems here. And the one thing we really wanted to focus on was the actual sound system itself. We have been uh, finaling the film Immortals, which is an ancient Greek battle movie. I would say that first day with Stuart Le Levy, the editor of Immortals, we had just had a music run through the week before we installed where we listened to the score. And the score sounded harsh and raspy. There's a lot of brass in it. And we're like, oh God, that's not really very good. And then we came in on the Monday and we listened to the music, the same music from the same recordings. And we both looked at each other and was like, oh my God, this is totally different. There's no more harsh sound. There's no more raspiness. There's no more distortion. Okay, we're off to the races. One of the primary elements we wanted to focus on was an even surround field. Additionally, we wanted to improve the clarity of the low end. These are not huge rooms, but they're significant enough in size to where we wanted to make sure that the bass response was even throughout the entire field. Uh, so we ended up with five X800 subwoofer cabinets in both of the rooms. Everyone's incredibly impressed by how even the distribution is across the entire field, both for the mixers and the client area. I was skeptical at first, like, why do we need so many subwoofers? You know, because I'm a businessman too. I mean, we don't want to spend all our money on stuff like that if we don't have to. But the Meyer Sound people, they're very precise. They looked at an architectural drawing of the room. It wasn't just like they kind of spitballed it. They spec the room very carefully for what they felt that we needed. I would say the low frequency response is very punchy, very, uh, very precise, and it's also very consistent uh, across the entire mixing console. I've worked on all of the major consoles, and I think all of the film mixing consoles, you know, they all have their strengths and weaknesses, but Harrison, uh, with the new MPC-4D and the iKIS system, has a certain uh, level of sophistication that exceeds those of the, the current consoles. We've just had a number of our clients, and even in the short time that we've had these, come in and completely unsolicited go, wow, your room's sounding really great. We've picked up quite a lot of articulation in the bass. And one of the things that really struck me was you could really hear the intention of the mix in the low frequencies that wasn't so available to you uh, in the other theater. It's not just rumble, it's not just power, you can actually hear the shape of it. Sound that you hear in this room is very uh, lush and rich and, and well textured and uh, very comfortable, even at extremely high levels. I don't have to work the dialogue as much. I have a lot more confidence in what I'm doing with the dialogue, that I'm not compensating for some defect in the speakers, and that I have more of a tendency to leave the dialogue alone. So that makes my life a lot easier.